Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm sharing a cake recipe that's been requested on my channel so many times and I apologize to keep you guys waiting but I thought that Valentine's Day would be the perfect time to share. Today I'm making my classic red velvet cake with a classic cream cheese frosting. So I make this a three layer cake and then I added some chocolate covered strawberries to the top to make it perfect for the holiday. So let's get started and I'll show you guys how to make it. I've measured out one cup of milk and to my milk I'm going to add one tablespoon of vinegar and I'm going to set my milk aside and let it sour for about five to seven minutes. Into a large mixing bowl I'm going to add one and a half cups of white granulated sugar and to my sugar I'm going to be adding three fourths cup of melted butter and I'm going to use my hand mixer to beat the butter and sugar together. Next I'm going to add in four large eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm gonna use my mixer to beat all this together. And then I'm gonna add in my one cup of soured milk. And now for my dry ingredients. So I have one and three fourths cup of all-purpose flour in my bowl here. To that I'm gonna be adding four teaspoons of baking powder and two tablespoons of dark cocoa powder. Just use a spoon and mix all that together. I'm using a fine mesh sifter to sift my flour into the, my cake batter today. You wanna do this to make sure you don't get any clumps. And then I'm just using my whisk to mix everything together. And now it's time to add that iconic red color. So today I'm using super concentrated uh, gel food coloring. So I'm gonna add Lots and lots of it. The amount of food coloring that you're gonna need depends on the type that you're using. If you're gonna use regular liquid food coloring, you're gonna need about two to three tablespoons of it. Just stir all this together and look at that beautiful red color. And now it's time to get our cake batter into the oven. So I have mine preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm using three 8 inch cake pans and I've lined the bottoms with some parchment paper and I'm just using my kitchen scale to weigh out the cake batter so I get three even layers. I'm going to bake my layers in my preheated oven for about 40 to 45 minutes until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean and then I'm going to remove them from the pans and place them onto a cooling rack to cool completely. Now that my layers are cooling, I'm gonna get started on my cream cheese frosting. So I have two eight ounce bricks of cream cheese and I've softened these at room temperature. I'm gonna dump them into my mixer bowl along with one cup of butter that I've also softened at room temperature. I'm gonna mix the butter and cream cheese together for about five to seven minutes until it's really light and fluffy. And then to my butter and cream cheese, I'm gonna start adding my confectioner's sugar. I'm gonna add about four cups today and give this a good mix after each addition. I'm also gonna add a couple tablespoons of heavy cream to thin out my frosting just a little bit. And finally, I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then keep whisking this for another couple minutes until that frosting is really light and fluffy. I have my cake layers cooled and before I start frosting them, I'm gonna take a long serrated knife and just even off the top of each cake layer. And now it's time to put the cake together. So I'm gonna add a generous amount of my cream cheese frosting between each layer. I'm gonna grab my offset spatula here and just spread it evenly to the edges. I'm gonna follow with my second cake layer. Now today I'm leaving my cake unfrosted on the sides and open just like this, but the cream cheese frosting I made today is enough to frost the entire cake on the sides as well. I'm gonna be garnishing the top of my cake today with some strawberries, but before I add them on, I wanted to add a little white chocolate drizzle to the top to make them look extra special. So I've just melted some white chocolate, placed it into a Ziploc bag here, and I'm just drizzling it over the top of each strawberry. And I'm just gonna let these set up before I add them to the top of the cake. And now that I have my cake frosted, I'm gonna start adding my chocolate covered strawberries to the top. Mm -hmm. 
And that's it for my classic red velvet cake recipe. If you're not gonna serve it right away, make sure to keep it stored in the refrigerator and covered until you're ready to serve. So now I'm gonna dig in and give this a try, and I love the bright red color of this cake. Mmm. This cake is absolutely moist and delicious, and I love that light hint of chocolate combined with that creamy cream cheese frosting. Nothing beats the combination of those two. This cake is gonna be perfect for Valentine's Day, and you can garnish the top with those chocolate-covered strawberries. Now, I do have a separate tutorial on how to do those, and you can find that in my channel as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.